Welcome back to another video. So it's good to be different. Uh, we live in a, I think this is always the road ha has been like, um, but everyone comes from their own experience. So I always remember being different. And again, guys, there's levels to this, but in terms of being the same, being in the crowd, following the same route that everybody else does, um, you're looked at as weird if you do something different. And for me, it was a little bit unique from my own experience because uh, first I have a unique name, you know, background. Um, you know, I was born in the U.S., but my family, you know, is international. So off riff, you know, my name is a little bit different. But then I remember as I was growing up, I just had different interests. Like, yeah, going to going to parties, that was great to experience. Um, getting drunk, et cetera, et cetera. But then I realized it's kind of a waste of time. I mean... Again, my upbringing was a little bit different. I got the privilege to travel, you know, see the world from an early age that I've continued now into adulthood. But I always remember that I just had different things, different interests. Um, I love to travel. I love learning about different cultures. I love history. Um, you know, as I got into college, I was very intrigued by entrepreneurship. You know, most people, again, it's not a bad thing, but most people, they're just more comfortable getting a job. Maybe they don't have the characteristics or the drive to be an entrepreneur. And then, you know, you tell someone that you want to create your own business, you want to have your own business, or you're thinking about this idea. They're looking at you like you have three eyes. Um, why don't you have a family? Why don't you have a house? You know, a house in terms of like a mega mansion yet that you're just wasting your money at a young age. Like all that, it didn't interest me. Um, maybe in the future, of course, there's nothing wrong with having a family, but I just didn't like it when people would give timelines or based on their experience because they got it from somebody else of this is what's expected who says who you know steve jobs i remember a famous video he mentioned that like the world you know we have like a lot of these imaginary rules that you know we society came up with and again that doesn't mean that you become a degenerate obviously don't do anything illegal you know you still have to be a good person you know a law-abiding citizen but you don't need to follow the norm, um, and you're not weird if you're not if you don't follow the norm. If you want to, that's fine, and maybe that's not even normal. Again, these terms could be made up in terms of what is normal and what is not. But if you're in a position where you're not like you find yourself that you're you don't have like the same interest or what other people are doing doesn't vibe with you, I'm saying that's fine, and it's good to be different. You know, everything, like, look at all the um, CEOs, anyone who's ever done anything in this world. Are they normal people? Did they go the same route? No, they didn't. You know, they were, you know, they had some creativity with them, um, to them, and they wanted to pursue it just to see where it led. And then maybe they found a passion in it. And for them, it's not even work. And, you know, that's what they're known for. I'm not saying you're going to be the next Picasso, but whatever it is that you're doing in today's day and age, when you have so many opportunities with technology now, with AI, um, with the Internet, uh, you know, all these creative ways of maybe creating a career, um, living a different type of life than maybe our parents or grandparents generations didn't have the opportunity to do so. Why not pursue it? Um I, you know, at, when you're young, it's normal that you don't want to be different. You might be made fun of, you know, that's normal. But I think when you get older, hopefully you can, you should start to not give an F, you know, you should start to care less about what others think about you. Um, Cause it really doesn't matter. People for the most part focused on their own life, which is what you should as well. So you're worried about other people thinking about you that don't care about you or being judgmental of you when they're not even thinking about you. So like what's stopping you? So if you're in this position that I was, um, it's good to be different. Uh, again, be a law-abiding citizen. I'm not saying be, a, be like a weirdo, but explore your creativity. You know, you have nothing to lose. If it doesn't work out or a year from now, if, if you don't like it anymore, fine, do something else. Um, you don't have to waste time living up to other people's expectations or to their own timelines of the decisions that they made, which is fine for them if they like it, but then don't let that influence you. Because in the end, it is your life. Um, you're going to have to live the choices that you make, whether those cho choices for you have a positive or negative impact on you. Regardless, you're the one who's going to have to live with it. And remember, you can't get the time back. So you also, that has to bear in mind as well. So if you're younger, great. If, you know, you're a little bit older, that's fine too. You know, we, we all can start from somewhere, but it's better to start now 
than waiting and then regretting not having you know started sooner so guys if you have any questions on this or if you like to explore your creativity a little bit more and how to use it and maybe what your purpose is get in touch with me first link in the description we can have a chat about it um, if you found the video of any value please like and subscribe i'll appreciate it very much and once again thanks for watching the video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one